Joseph Peter, welcome to the coffee pod. My name is Chisha Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Woman says men who are single and childless in their late 30s are a red flag. Let's get it. Do you think it's a red flag if a guy is in their late 30s, early 40s and has never been married? It's a little weird. Yeah. If he gets to 40 and he doesn't have kids and hasn't been married, that's a touch bizarre. Yeah. Well, as a 38 year old who's never married, doesn't have kids, I'll give my point of view a little bit on this. Let's hear it, brother. It isn't like there's wives that just falling off the bookshelves that you are compatible with, attracted to, have chemistry, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Um, this would, this logic 30 years ago makes sense. Today, not so much. Okay. Me being 38. You know, Facebook originally came out about 20 years ago when we got into college. I was in junior college when it first came out. So that was the start of the whole social media thing. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is the, these people now or that's what we're growing up in. OK. Dating culture is a lot different, uh, much, much harder other than just trying to rush into something. So um, based off the divorce rates and all that, mm, I don't know if that's necessarily a red flag or someone who's just got some standards and whatnot. Uh, that's the first part. So like I said, there's not just a bunch of wives who you're compatible and have chemistry with that you can just go out there and marry. Right, right. That's number one. Uh, number two, the kids think men don't get to choose when they become fathers. Y'all know that, right? Like women have 100% control over who gets to be a father. So could it be a red flag and going, damn, no one thought that you'd make a great father. So they never allowed you to have a kid. Possibly you could look at it like that. But then again, let's look at a lot of the baby daddies out there as if that's like a great, as if that's a great determining factor. If you're a red flag after seeing the people that are. That they pick. I feel you, bro. <laughs> we know exactly what you're talking about. Gentlemen, I'm here to confirm that T. Hanley is still the number one skincare routine here on the coffee pod. It works. I don't know what to tell you, bro. It works. I know some of you still don't believe me. I get it. Oh, look, who could have guessed another T. Hanley commercial? <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you, bro, other than the truth that it works. It's the most simplified skincare routine you're going to find anywhere. I still use the face wash. I still use the exfoliation scrub. I still use the morning moisturizer, PM moisturizer. I use everything inside that box still to this day because it works. Why should I lie when I'm drinking truth serum right here in this cup? You know how it is, but I get it. The good thing is you don't just have to take my word for it, man. They have over 7,000 five-star reviews from other happy customers and because tj is sponsoring this video they're offering you an amazing deal just click the link pinned to the top of the comment section or in the description and you will get 30 percent off and a free gift plus as a member you also get 20 percent off for life by the way both gifts you're choosing from are 20 dollars in value and a complete game changer a silicon body scrub or a nail and face grooming kit i personally like the silicon body scrub because i can see myself using that almost every day so don't wait any longer click the link pinned to the top of the comment section or in the description and start your skin journey today yeah so this is just another another stereotype another red flag bizarre shit that should just be put the sleep you'll have a great one you too you too appreciate appreciate your insight when I talk to, because I got a couple friends who are around that age group. For those of you who don't know, I am 30 years old. I just turned 30 like this last December. It's not that they can't find a woman who wants them. And of course, we can have the conversation about the men who women don't see as an option because they have extremely un unrealistic standards but a lot of the guys that i know they're educated they've got good jobs and careers and the ones that aren't married and a few of them are it's not that they can't find a woman who wants to marry them and that they're avoiding marriage in particular they're careful right but they're not like fool migtow that's not the life they've chosen to to live they typically tell me that the issue is they don't see the benefit in investing in the women who they're dating. They're still dating. 
They just don't see the benefit in investing in the women who they interact with within the dating market. And I would actually agree with her and say, yes, it is a red flag for Western society. It is a red flag for women when the men who are around you don't see you as valuable enough to invest in. You are an investment as a woman. And a lot of the chicks who have that opinion of, oh, there's something wrong with you. Why aren't you married yet? They're mad because they're single. And I've seen particular instances when uh, a guy will run into a woman who he will see as worth the investment and risk, because it is a risk, of marriage. And it happens. And so I would turn that question around to her and ask, well, why are you asking that? And why do you think men don't see marriage as a good investment right now? Well, there's, there are larger issues. There are larger topics that need to be addressed. This is the norm and it's only predicted to get worse for women as well as we know. Let's check out some of these comments see what the people have to say. First comment to here comes from a woman who says, you lost me at the woman have 100% control over who's a father and who's not. With the laughing emoji, what, sir? And she didn't like that because she may be a single mother and she likes to think that she's in that position because it's the other guy's fault, right? He didn't stay. But in all honesty, the man has no rights when it comes to what happens with that child after he's released into a woman. After that, you don't have any control. And a lot of the times, women make the mistake of taking guys who they qualify for a fun experience before they're able to judge who's a good investment for long-term partnership. They'll get those guys, the guys for short-term mating, have those guys kids and babies and then want someone like him the guy who's talking before in the video to take care of those kids and raise them up and he's he's like no what so somebody responded back to this chicken said yes y'all do it's called closing your legs and not letting just any man nut in you might be hard for you though Ooh, gave her some coffee right there once you release in a woman she can say i don't want to take the plan b she can say i want to keep this child you don't have any say at all it's gonna be your responsibility if she decides to and she decides whether she wants to keep it da, 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 you don't have any say. another comment here from another woman says an older man that's never been married with no kids that's jackpot again guys you got to remember that these women are looking for that type but a lot of times if a man's gotten to that point he's looking or he's just kind of at the place where he's like, uh, I don't see the benefit of that. I'm happy being single because I don't see the investment being worth it. It's jackpot to this chick because that's her ideal candidate, right? Here's somebody else who says, crazy thought. Some people don't see the need to get married or have children. It's not for everyone. There's also that. Here's another comment that says, everyone is in their own timeline. Here's somebody else who says, 38 single, never been married no kids yet it's hard out there and if you're a woman who put focus on career it adds another layer and we know this here's somebody else who says trust me this isn't a red flag it's a flex now the comment here says 33 never married no kids most people i grew up with are already divorced no thanks here's another comment that says 43 never married no kids praise god I'm not exhausted or divorced, laugh out loud. You, you are escaping that risk for divorce. That's a huge benefit. Now, you're also giving up stuff in the long run as far as like families and, and, and um, connection. But let's be honest, the most traumatic and tragic thing that's usually ever happened to a man who has been married earlier is a divorce if it didn't work out. People are traumatized and scarred from those experiences. Another comment here says, I think it's a huge red flag. Somebody else here says, 35 never been married and no kids. Everyone's reasons are different and the divorce rate is high because people aren't marrying for the right reasons. And the creator responded back to her and says, exactly. So what's the bigger red flag with the laughing emoji? Here's somebody else who says, I think people are just fed up and don't want to settle. They end up choosing to be alone rather than rush off with the nearest person. I definitely feel that way. Somebody else here says, my husband was 45 and never married 
or kids met me and we've been married 26 years. He isn't weird. He just had to wait for me is all. And so here was a man who found a woman that was worth investing in. Contrary to what you see and the messaging around you, most men out here are open to getting married to the right type of woman. But it's 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 finding a woman who drinks coffee. Now the comment here says 37 single with no kids and don't want kids with the shoulder shrug. And our final comment here says 37 and the same. Never married, no kids. Divorce is not an option for me. So that's why I'm picky. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Listen, guys, as always, I appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of the Coffee Pod. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.